Hi, I'm Donna, and I've been through breast cancer and back. Anyway, this is me a few years later after I did my intro video. Um, I haven't shot anything since, but I do have lots of stuff that I documented during the whole journey when I was diagnosed with breast cancer, and then I went through chemo and radiation. Anyway, uh, for all of you who are just joining me for the first time, thank you. And if any would like to subscribe, you could just hit the subscribe button. And please, please leave me your comments. Um, give me, uh, leave me any questions you may have. I'd be so happy to answer them. And um, once again, my hope is to find a way to help prevent breast cancer um, in the future. But in the meantime, for those of you who have any questions about it, I am so happy to answer them. So what I would like to talk about today is uh, the importance of getting a second opinion. And I'm not just talking about once you've been diagnosed, but also uh, prior to that, should there be any type of suspicious findings on a mammogram? And I want to share my story with you. In 2011, I did a full health assessment with a company called MedCan. They are a private clinic, and uh, I had my mammogram done there. So what had happened was um, a few months later, I realized when I was looking at all of my, I'd already checked all my lab reports and everything looked great and I hadn't seen anything about my mammogram. And it didn't really occur to me until a few months later because I realized if they're sending all my other information um, about the, the test results about everything, that I shouldn't just assume that uh, no news is good news. So I did call them up and I inquired about the mammogram. And so I did get a phone call back from the doctor and um, anyway, uh, I was driving at the time and she said, I'm so sorry that I'm just calling you now, but uh, I hope you're not driving. I was actually in a car wash, so I wasn't technically driving. And so I knew that that couldn't be good news. Uh, but anyway, she said, uh, I don't know why this is just coming across my desk now, but um, it looks like there might be something suspicious in your right breast. So we'd like you to come back and have what's called a cone mammogram. And a cone mammogram is... I believe they use a plate and it separates normal breast tissue from the tissue that's in question. So I went back to MedCan and um, they, uh, they did this cone mammogram and um, I believe that they also wanted me to do an ultrasound. If I recall, because we're looking back, it would have been, I, I wanna say now it was around 2012 when, uh, because I had had the first uh, mammogram done in December of 2011. So anyway, uh, we, you know, I go through that, go through the ultrasound, and the report said that uh, there was no evidence of anything uh, suspicious, uh, any concern, so not to worry about it. So, um, so I didn't worry about it, and it didn't even occur to me. I was thinking I was at a state-of-the-art facility, so I completely trusted their, their findings, and that was that. So then what happened was um, I was doing a, a self-breast uh, exam, which um, we will talk about on another video. But anyway, I was doing one a few months later and I noticed uh, that it felt kind of dense um, on my right breast, like just underneath here. And um, so my mother had had breast cancer years ago and I asked her what it would feel like if it was a lump. And for her, the feeling was more of a hard pee. And for me, it was just kind of like, I want to say, um, it was very soft, but it felt like dense tissue. That's exactly what it felt like, like a, like a clump of tissue. So I went back to MedCan. And, um, you know, I was concerned about it. Actually, I think I went to my family doctor first here. I do have a family doctor. I live in Ontario, Canada. And uh, so I went to my family doctor. Um, and she suggested I, of course, uh, look into this further. So I did another ultrasound with uh, MedCan. And so it may have been the same radiologist. I can't remember, um, but I could always check that out. But anyway, uh, it came back that, um, that there was nothing to be concerned about. So uh, I wasn't concerned, I just let that go. Uh, but they did suggest I do uh, my routine mammograms. And um, so I think what had happened, so that would have been 2012. And I think I kind of let more than a year go by. It wasn't two years, but it was more than, than, uh, than a year. And I went, uh, this time, I decided just to go to a local place uh, that does mammograms. Um, and so I went there through my family doctor, not through the private uh, clinic anymore. And uh, once again, I got a phone call saying, oh, we see something suspicious. And I'll tell you, it, this would have been July of 2013. So um, it didn't uh, concern me at all. 
I just thought, okay, you know, it's probably the same thing. So I went back. I knew it was the dense tissue. So I was not worried at all. But they called me right away. So they wanted me to go back. I did another ultrasound and, um, and uh, another mammogram and another ultrasound. And uh, then, sure enough, uh, this time my doctor called me immediately, I think within a day, and said, could you please come in? Of course, I go in. And she tells me that they're concerned that this, in fact, may be breast cancer. So I was really uh, shocked, as a matter of fact, and I thought, well, I bet you it's still nothing. So now she referred me to a general surgeon, and then I went to, he uh, took a look at it, said, it doesn't really look like breast cancer to me, um, and, but then he sent me to get a biopsy just to be sure. And uh, yeah, sure enough, I went for this biopsy. I am quite squeamish. Uh, what they do is they do freeze the breast area, and then they go in. Um, with, uh, with a, a needle type thing to take, uh, to take some samples from the area where they believe there's a tumor. And uh, then uh, they check those lab results. Well, because I'm so squeamish and because the freezing probably didn't take all that well, I could feel it. And so while it was happening, I actually fainted during the biopsy. And then I felt so sick after it that I actually, they had to actually bring me over, you know, garbage pail and then I threw up after. It was just, just awful. I was completely shaken by the whole experience. Um, but still, you know, I'd heard from so many people not to worry, so many people have biopsies, it's never anything, don't worry about it. So I still really wasn't worried. Um, and then I went on my way and they didn't call me right away. That would have been, I want to say, August 7th is when I had it done, 2013. And I think it wasn't until about the 25th I got called in to see this general surgeon. And um, yeah, and then he told me I had breast cancer. And I was I was completely shocked. Like his, in fact, he just said, oh, have you talked to your family doctor about this? And I said, no, no, I haven't seen any of the results, nothing. And uh, he said, well, it's carcinoma, like just like that. And I go, pardon? And uh, yeah, it was, it was a breast cancer. That's all um, I'm going to talk about today. Uh, I will get into more details later on what happened after that. But the point of my story is that um, I can't stress enough that I strongly and firmly believe that it is so important to get that second opinion. I look back on my journey and think, oh man, if I had only gone to another place to have gotten that mammogram, or I got another cone mammogram or the ultrasound back in 2011, even 2012, you know, perhaps uh, my whole ordeal could have been avoided. But I didn't. I didn't. So I'm just saying to all of you, please, if there's any question, uh, don't just uh, brush it off like I did, um, because there's a good chance that there could be something there and that you could catch it a lot earlier than I did. My, I was already at stage three. And uh, anyway, that's all for another video. But uh, once again, make sure that you get a second opinion. And then even after you are diagnosed, it's very important to get more than one opinion on what needs to be done. But once again, thank you for tuning in. And uh, if you have any questions, please let me know what they are. Bye for now.